Today we've teamed up with the York Eglinton BIA to chat briefly about the history of Little Jamaica and Eglinton West and what's going on there right now. To some, it's known as Little Jamaica. To others, it's part of the old city of York, Eglinton West, or simply the best spot in town for Caribbean food. It's an eclectic stretch of land along Eglinton that some people may have overlooked, a spot notorious for great food, eclectic and diverse stores and businesses, and barbershops. In fact, with more than 35 salons and barbershops, we're talking about the epicenter of hair. Add in the number of tailors and suit stores, and you realize quickly this is where many people in the city go in preparation for weddings, graduations, or simply to get all dolled up. The York Eglinton area I'm looking at today is a commercial district along Eglinton Avenue West between Marley Avenue and Dufferin Street, and along the north side of Dufferin to Whitmore Avenue. Some people refer to it as the commercial backbone of the city, and what quickly becomes obvious as one of the most multicultural neighborhoods around. The area is now often referred to as Little Jamaica, a nod to both the abundance of Jamaican shops currently there, but also its rich history of Jamaican immigrants and a remarkably important history of reggae music, as can be seen with the 2015 opening of Reggae Lane. Reggae Lane is right at Oakwood and Eglinton. The murals and naming of the spot is part of the very cool Laneway project series in the city an effort to repurpose how we view and use laneways. It's an easy spot to get to via car or TTC and a cool afternoon or evening visit. Also, where I got some really great Caribbean food. It's known as Little Jamaica, but don't let that fool you. Many Caribbean and West Indian communities also are very prominent, but this area actually has a much longer relationship with the black community. York Township itself was home to one of the original black communities in the Toronto area, starting in the 1850s and 1860s as a sanctuary for African Americans fleeing slavery in the US. Now in an upcoming video, I will dig deeper into the history of this area. It's past over the last couple hundred years. It's definitely an interesting one and remarkably different than most parts of Toronto. So, in the future, it will be known as the home of the Oakwood and Fairbank Eglinton Crosstown LRT stations. And as always, be known as the home of great food, shops, salons, and people.